Ma, ma, ma. So welcome back to another video. So this time around we went toy hunting at a actual toy convention uh, in Oakville. And we went to a few more places after that as well because they were in the area. Before we show you what we got, make sure you hit the follow button, hit the subscribe button, click on that bell, ding, <laughs> so that you know as soon as any of our videos drop. Yes, please. So yeah, we went to the Canadian Toy Con, which was in Oakville this time around, and we saw lots of goodies that we wanted, but we had to restrain ourselves a little bit. Cause... Well, one of us restrained themselves. One of us has a problem. So I went to this toy convention and I said, whatever cash I have in my wallet is what I will spend. And I think, I wanna say I had around, at around $35 in my wallet. So first thing we do is we walk in and we hit this booth and right away the guy says, everything here is $5 or under. <laughs> and I mean like, it's an easy shopping spree. On. That's an easy shopping spree. And he did have a couple of Funkos and one of them is part of a collection that I do have going and it is for the Nightmare Before Christmas uh, collection. Now, I feel like I need to rewatch this movie because I didn't really recognize this char character, Vampire Teddy with Duck. I like kind of have like that like phantom knowledge, like mm -hmm. now that I see him and now that I know he's in the movie, I'm like, oh yeah, actually I think I do remember him like flying through one of the scenes, but I wouldn't be able to like pinpoint it. But anyways, for five dollars, I was like, I can easily rewatch that movie and add him to the collection. So right off the bat, I got Vampire Teddy with Duck. You just don't see that Funko Pop every day either. Like I've, I've not come across that one. I've never seen him. Like, and it's like a more obscure when you're comparing it to the rest of the Nightmare Before Christmas characters. It's, you don't see him as often represented. Yeah, so. and he's part of a collection that I didn't know really existed either. And then almost immediately I went to another booth. Oh my God. This one he had them like all laid out on his table and I saw this Invader Zim with Gurr. And I really like that Nickelodeon show. I've only watched like a couple episodes here and there. It's not one that I watched faithfully like when I was younger, but it's really cool. And he had it priced at 35, but he said the prices were flexible. So I offered 30, um, which I thought was fair. And he said, yes. So I got Zim and Gurr. And I'm very excited about this one. It's the only one in the collection it looks like because there's nothing on the back of it. Oh, okay. Um, Single one off. But I also, I love the Funko Pops, like this is the same, where it's like you kind of get like two in one. Two. <laughs> But yeah, there was also these two like deep, thin boxes of Funkos and it was like yeah. three, it was one for 10 or three, three for, for 25. 25. Yeah. And I'm not even kidding, I spent what, like 10 minutes? Yeah, we. you were digging, you were Did like Indiana Jones, there? archeologist, you're going, oh my going for it. I don't know why I decided to hold a spoon and just oh God. A giant cereal bowl it, but. Honestly, and I did find a few that I thought about getting, but they weren't anything like pressing in my collection. Oh. There was a Beverly Marsh from It, and I, I really hummed and hawed over that one. Um, as you know, I'm obsessed with It and Pennywise, but in the end I decided not to, uh, to get anything from that. If it had been Georgie or Richie, I would have done it. So I was looking around the floor and I was like, my collection's huge and mighty already. Like if it were, if were my collection, you know, were a human, it clearly works out <laughs> and it has a 12 pack. My friend told me about these toys uh, by Super 7. So I got Goldar or from Power Rangers for 50 bucks. And that is very good compared to the $100 that I've seen in other retail stores. And it comes in not one box, it comes in this box, and then it comes in this box. But then when you go like this with the box, you see this box. Oh my God. <laughs> Look at this. That figure is sexy. Look at that. It is. That is actually a very sexy figure. Look, look at his hair. It's got like spikes on the end of it. It's got good propage. Um, it's, I was so happy to actually have like a Super 7 figure and I have some Power Ranger stuff already. So I'm super happy to get this. Now, as we were about to walk out, and if you were keeping track of what I spent, I said I had $35 in my wallet, $5 on the Nightmare Before Christmas, and 30 on the Zim and Gurr Funko. So I had no cash left, but, 
We were passing this one booth and he had these like old school Harry Potter action figures and there was a centaur one and honestly like it looked so cool. Um, and the guy, he was so nice, he was like, put out, send me an offer, put, put out an offer, like, you know, make sure it's fair. Yeah, this guy was really cool. He, he was, really nice. oh my God, he was so cool. Yeah. I'm really bad at that stuff though. I'm like, I have no idea what a fair offer is. So he goes, well, why don't I make you an offer first? So he goes through his little notebook and he goes, how about $5? And how do you say no to you that? You kind of have to do that. Right? Yeah. You kind of have to. So I had no more cash on me, but Roger spotted me that $5. Don't worry, I already paid him back. Uh, so that she I paid me back, see? <laughs> she pays back. But I got this Centaur action figure. It's $5. <laughs> $5. $5. <laughs> yeah. I went a little bit over my budget, but that's okay. $5. That's not bad. But it adds right? up when you go to more locations to buy toys. So next we went to JPL and... And it was my downfall. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'm going to start off because I only got one uh, Funko Pop there that I really wanted. And it was the Modoc Pop from Ant-Man and the Quantumania. And I just think, I want a figure of Modoc from the movie with the human face because it's all stretched out and warped and stuff. And it's just a big head. I think the character's goofy and I love it. And for like a bobblehead, like cut this... I know, the bobble's killing me <laughs> A Modoc. <laughs> like it's just hilarious. I love this thing. It's like in one of my favorite Funkos I think I've gotten, uh, like the bobblehead ones anyways. Um, so yeah, I found that and and I love him. Um, I got more than one. So at JPL they actually have buy three and you get your fourth for free. So I obviously had to do that. But I was humming and hawing over kind of which ones to get. Roll the clip, Roger! So it's buy three, get one. And I've got Might Guy from Naruto, Demobat from Stranger Things, which I really want both of those. Now I found these two Adventure Time Funkos that I don't have. Bimo as a cook and Finn the Human with like rocket feet. But I don't know, my Adventure Time collection is so big right now. Do I swap these two out for a collection that I'm still kind of growing? I don't know what to do. I don't know! And I ultimately decided to start a Naruto collection because I just recently started reading the manga, watching the anime um, interchangeably to try and get through it quicker. And Guy is probably one of the best characters. I just think he's like so intense. He's kind of like the tick. Like in his intensity, like he's very like, okay. deep voice, like you can do it, you can do it, chump, anything can go. Kind of like that kind of like attitude where it's like just like undying faith in his students and I love his eyebrows. And then as y'all know, if you watched one of our previous videos, um, I've been doing an Adventure Time collection that kind of got thrust upon me in the best way possible. Um, but they did have a bunch of... Adventure Time Funko Pops as well. So I did get Finn the Human. He's got like phoenix wings, a sword, and rocket feet. I have not got to this episode yet, so I'm very excited to actually get there. So I got him. I also got another lumpy space princess. Um, Lumpy space princess. She's so fun. I just love the way that she talks. I yeah. think she's so funny. And I have just like a plain old lumpy space princess, but this one's got the squeezy marks and she's wearing a little purse. Again, haven't got to this episode yet, but I'm very excited too. And then I also got BMO because I actually don't have a BMO. I have like alternate reality BMO where it's pink, but I don't have uh, this one. So. I just realized it said kiss my cook. Kiss my cook. <laughs> <laughs> not kiss the cook. So I got these three and then I'm not sure which one I got for free. But 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 then I have Deals. a problem, like I said, and as I was at the cash register checking out, getting these ones, I came across another Stranger Things one, and I had been humming and hawing before, as you saw, over getting a demo bat or an Adventure Time one, and I ended up going with the Adventure Time ones. But then I You're saw a tiny sandwich. But I mean, a tiny little sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> but then I saw this Funko Pop, and I couldn't not get it because, guys, it's Argyle. How do you not get an Argyle Funko Pop? If you're a Stranger Things TV series watcher and you can pass by an Argyle and not get it, let me know because he's so funny. So I ended up getting him as well. And like I said, I have a problem. I'm kind of 
kind of glad that I don't watch Stranger Things. It's one of those TV shows I didn't get into <laughs> because if I end up really enjoying it and I'm gonna go for all the merch and it's gonna be like, uh, it's another collection I've started. So that's our latest haul. And tell yes. us, are you more like Roger and you have a really good self-control or are you more like me? And you honestly can't walk into a store without walking out? with like a million different things. I feel like today was just a special um, <laughs> one off for me though, because usually I can't, it's just, it's just like money. <laughs> and uh, there's- Hey, you went into a toy store with a gift card and didn't walk out with anything. That is today. true, I restrained myself, yes. That's huge. I'm a Toys R Us kid with a budget. <laughs>